Hey everyone, I'm Terry G. Thanks a lot for stopping by and watching my video. If you could take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? I'd really appreciate it. And again, thanks a lot for stopping by. What this video is about today, this video is about doing step eight and Alcoholics Anonymous. I made a list of all persons that we have harmed and became willing to make amends to them all. The word that I wanna stress before I get started in this video is keep it simple. There's a lot of different ways of doing the steps, the 12 steps in Alcoholics Anonymous, but the way that I find the best is doing it directly out of the big book and keeping it very, very simple. Doing the steps in Alcoholics Anonymous can be very, very scary and take a lot of energy and take a lot of courage up. So getting bogged down in the process, I always thought was working against me. So keeping it simple really helped me move forward in my steps. It really, really did. But what is step eight really about? Step eight is about us taking responsibility for harms done to other people. It's about us cleaning up our side of the street. It's part of the program of action. Making amends is really, really important. It helps us get rid of our guilt we're carrying, our shame, and it allows us to forgive other people in, or, in order, and what happens is we get the rewards of doing that. It frees us up. It allows us to forgive ourselves or helps us forgive ourselves. And in that process of doing a step eight, writing it down, frees, it starts to free up space with us spiritually, mentally, and emotionally to start letting that good stuff in, that stuff that is in the promises of the 12 steps of Alcoholics Anonymous. Within those 12 steps, there's a lot of promises, but we need to do the work to allow that into us, that, you know, free us up from that guilt and the, that past, the stuff that haunts us. That's what it does, it moves us forward. Myself, the way I did it was simply like this. I got a piece of paper, I made three lists. People I'll make amends to right away within the next 30 days. People I'll make amends to later on from 30 days to six months. And people I'll never make amends to because maybe they have died. The first list I put in there, family, friends, people who are, were immediately around me that I can make amends to right away. And some of those were kind of easy ones too for I get sort of like the hang of it. So I put those in there. And the one in the, in the, in the other list from 30 days to six months are people, maybe relatives, you'll see it at, at a, a funeral, maybe you want to pull them aside or at a wedding or maybe some friends who live in different cities or bosses that live in different cities. Because for myself, doing an amends face to face was very effective. I treated my amends, both like the, the list, the step eight and my step nine, like a business, like I had to do it. I took away that emotional sting that when I was doing it and I treated it like a business. So who am I gonna make amends to first? I put it down that first list. The next list, who am I gonna make amends to within six months 30 days to six months, put it in that list. And the next one was who I'm gonna make amends to never. There's people that I'll never see again. Maybe old girlfriends, maybe old friends that I'll never see, like childhood friends or friends that I've met of acquaintances in my addiction life, or just people who have passed away that I can't make amends to. But there's a way of doing that and I'll explain that in step eight. I mean, sorry, step nine. So that's basically what I did. And the key word too in this step is be thorough. Be thorough. Don't let your fear guide you in the step eight. Oh, I'm not gonna do that person. I don't wanna do that person. You know, that kind of thing. Put it down. And a lot of your step eight was basically already done for you when you did step four. So you can pull that old step four out. Hopefully you didn't get rid of it or throw it away after you did your step five. Pull that old step four out and on that list, there's names of people guaranteed that you owe amends to. And for me, there's about 25 to 30 people on that list of step four that I just simply transferred over to my step eight. Like I said, being thorough is key here. It's about cleaning house. It's about building relationships with other people. And when you start to learn how to build proper relationships through forgiveness and letting that, those old past relationships go, it frees us up to build a better relationship with ourselves and with other people. But the main thing it does, the main thing it does is it helps us clean up our side of the street. Step eight, that's always required. Just make a list of people that you have harmed and became willing to make amends to them all. That's always required in that 
in that step. What I got, the result that I got out of doing step eight, I did all the steps in Alcoholics Anonymous because I had to. I didn't do them because I was willing. I did them begrudgingly. I was like trudging through, you know, my steps. The pain and the guilt and the shame that I was still carrying after I did my fourth and my fifth, six and seven, I kind of pushed me into doing step eight. I needed to get some relief because when I saw these people that I have harmed in my life, family and friends, I felt uncomfortable. I felt embarrassed around them. There was still a lot of emotional stuff going on around them. And I, and I needed to tell them that I was sorry for what I did when I drank. You know, I stole from them. I got angry at them, enraged at my mother. You know, I wouldn't show up for work for my bosses. You know, sexual relationships. I used women for sex when I drank. We all, I don't know, I like to get into that part, but I did that. I did all those kind of things. I use people to get what I wanted and I need to apologize to these people to make it right with me and make it right with the world around me. It's about cleaning up our side of our street. It's about taking action. It's about rebuilding our life one day at a time. If you want to build a stable, silver life, follow the 12 steps of Alcoholics Anonymous. Keep it simple. Get the courage to do those steps. Don't waste time. Go and do them. Treat step eight like a business. Like this has to be done. Treat it like that and you'll get it and keep the whole thing simple. And let me tell you something. The rewards of the steps or the miracles of the steps are right after you do them. Right after we feel that fear, we drum up that courage and we do that step. Those miracles, those rewards come in. The emotional high, the emotional upheaval that happens in us after we get rid of that guilt, that shame and talk to those people that we have harmed and honestly, honestly make amends to them. It is unbelievable the spiritual upheaval that you will have through those doing those steps. I know I did. I know I did. I was a different person after I did the steps of Alcoholics Anonymous. I am a different person today than I was when I walked into that program many years ago. And that's what I want for you. That's what I want for you to experience a life free from alcohol, free from that addiction thinking, free from that addiction life. Alcoholism destroyed our lives. Steps of Alcoholics Anonymous will rebuild them and we'll have a life that we'll never ever could imagine. I tell you that right now, the gifts, the miracles are just around the corner for all of us. People like you and me deserve a great life on this earth. We really, really do. I could go on and on about the miracles of AA. Maybe one day I'll do a video about it, but for now, this is about step eight, okay? Thanks a lot for stopping by and watching my video. If you could take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? If you like what I said in this video, please leave a comment below. And if you want me to talk about something, put it in the comments below and I'll get to that video for you, okay? My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. Thanks for stopping by. God bless, stay safe, stay sober, and I'll see you next week. Ciao for now. Thank you very much.